Hello everyone, my name is Relax and Panic and this is another reaction to Steins Gate. It is episode 8 and as always, if you want to see the reaction itself, just go down into my links. Uh, you will find a link to uh, Dailymotion where you can see the reaction itself or a link additionally to my Google Drive where you can download it in case you want to see it on your computer. Uh, so um, watch it, come back here and then you can hear out what I thought about this episode. See you soon. For those of you who came back, Welcome back. So, let's see. That was a <laughs> very entertaining episode. A lot of fun in it. A lot of jokes, a lot of creepiness. Um, so, let's see. Uh, we, in the, we at the beginning once again um, about the Be Our Savior. So that uh, uh, Rintorin... Well, Molly that got the uh, uh, question be the savior of mankind so uh, that all this time travel stuff is something where only he can save everyone because he seems to have the ability at least it seems right now um to remember when uh, the time lines have changed he himself uh, called it very uh, blandly um what was it steiner's i'm just a little bit stuck. It's not Steins Gate, it was Steiner's View, something like that. The all seeing eye, for sure, it was. Um, oh, reading Steiner. Now I got it. It was reading Steiner. Which uh, uh, Steiner is a name, while Stein in German is stone. So um, I'm not sure if there is some, if they want to make some connection to Steins Gate already. Um, normally there is none. Stein and Steiner are not in any way related, but whatever. Um, but it's a nice name, it's a cool sounding name. I mean, that's why he picked it. So, uh, <laughs> although Christina doesn't like it. Um, however, he reacted in the beginning, I'm a mad scientist, I want to destroy and, you know, be evil, stuff like that. So this build-up personality that he has of being the evil guy, being mean, you know, it simply doesn't fit in with being the one that saves the world but let's be honest in my opinion he very much is someone who really tries to do good you can see it and you can feel it from time to time especially when he's with Miyushi uh, once again in this episode we had one or two scenes where you could clearly see um, whatever he's acting like whatever he is thinking in the moment when um, Miyushi comes along and uh, as example here gave him a sweet he instantly melts away and uh, smiles and so she it doesn't ground him none at all she is more like she softens him and um, he has a very very special place in his heart for her, in his heart for her um they once again tried some time travel they tried one first with changing um, knowledge in the past so they send a, a timed email a d-mail to daru telling him about the game um uh, that you can play against faris um where the cards where which cards are placed so he would have had an unfair um chance against her uh, in the meaning of that he knows where the best cards are so he should have won and he didn't. So they were like, hmm, it, I can't sh that didn't change past. I'm not sure. I mean, uh, he was there and he played. I'm not sure if he would have played otherwise, possibly. But Paris is someone, I guess, maybe she's cheating. That might be one option. Or she, um, well, had other ways of winning against Dara. I mean, he is a creep, so possibly she knew how to distract him, you know. So, like, I don't know, she um, did one time just a little move and uh, he could see a little bit of whatever and then he lost for sure. So, not sure about that one. I think it might have changed. The other thing is, uh, mixing cards and putting them on a the table is completely random. So, uh, maybe it's that when it's completely random. Otherwise, uh, on the other hand, drawing in a lottery are as well, as far as I know. So... Not sure there. Um, we had the melon. The melon. Uh, the, so I like this episode because it was a lot with uh, um, Ruka, which we haven't learned about so much yet. Um, she 
we could see it in the beginning she was uh, down because she did the uh, lottery numbers wrong sure she didn't know about the the time travel thing in this moment so for her um you can just get into her position uh, into his position sorry um and uh, think about the fact a friend of yours asks you to uh, um to put in numbers for lottery and you do you know and then you realize you put one number wrong and due to that one number you and your friend didn't win a hell of amount of money so that is really i mean you have to feel bad about that so i can completely understand him that he's doing and he uh, was searching for ways to get even so he bought the melon i mean it is really a sweet gesture he is a nice nice guy he's uh well um very empathetic um and uh, that's why he's acting as he does and why he's looking as he does possibly as well so he has a lot of female hormones in him no question there um so he brought that along and everyone really seriously everyone likes him in this moment you can really see it in the room everyone is like that is a nice gesture he's a nice one um assistant however didn't catch the fact that he's a he's a dude as i didn't either in the beginning um which is in for a lot of fun no question there um the show's dancing on a line here but um in the meaning of um uh, uh, equal rights and everything and uh, how to react to such persons because that is really a tough problem for me as well um you always have the question uh, how how to address this person because let's just say i would meet uh, ruka in in real life my f i would first thing would call her instead him because i would think that's a girl and would say hey nice to meet you possibly would even start to flirt no idea you never know um and uh, in in if others are around i re would refer to her instead to him so uh, then there would be the moment when he uh, that's hey man i'm a dude possibly not like that but you know then is this there's this creepy moment when you're like oh wait well seriously uh, uh okay um sorry you're dressed like a girl so i thought um hmm that's a minefield there uh if you ever uh, stumble into that in real life it is a minefield um so but that is additionally put even more in because he wants to be a girl so he uh, is aware of his nature he is for sure that he wants to be a girl he feels more like a girl which is fine for me nowadays we have options for that you know we there are possibilities so that's when uh, he comes along and asks to send a mail to the past as well but first things first first Moeka goes away so Moeka is the first one to send an email to herself about not buying the phone. And she made some pictures before um, of the whole group more or neither. Um, now I got myself some questions there. She never met him. She did met, meet him but she didn't become part of the lab I mean. Not involved in the experiment itself. Um, she sent herself an e email, uh, a, a message to not buy the new phone. And because she didn't do, that's why she didn't go into the lab. Not sure about how that happened. But it changed timeline. Um, now two things. The stuff she did with her new phone that she never bought, like as example the photos. Are they on her old phone? because time is still there did they never happen because she never bought the phone or are they on the new phone that was never bought and is still possibly originally sealed in the store three options you know um not sure about those additionally she i guess she only got the phone not a new uh, card so the number didn't change but we have seen her make some photos so what about those? 
um, by logic, I would say they never were made. She didn't get the new phone, so she couldn't make photos with this phone, so they never were made. But all this timeline stuff is really confusing. Sometimes I am not sure. <laughs> we will see. Uh, however, she was gone. Um, and the melon was gone too, as we learned later on, because um, uh, uh, Ruka listened to them talking about time travel and uh, went away. So she didn't deliver the melon. So she would have come a little bit later in this timeline, like some minutes later. Um, <laughs> uh, Ruka then came along and wasn't able to talk about what he wanted. Instead, um, our beloved Mayushi took her and just uh, carried her away. Um, and made her undress, which was the time to shine for Daru, master of creepiness. <laughs> Incredibly. I mean, this was, you could see both of them like, okay, what is this now? You know, you, especially if you could, thus you could hear those two talking about, no, don't touch me there, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> and the fact that uh, uh, Ruka is a, is a dude makes it even better for Daru because it is even more creepy. I mean, I've wrote down for him, Daru, best day ever. Sadly, he will forget it. Because they changed timeline again in the end. Oh, so sad for him. Um, when dressed as a girl, he is even more um, convincing as a girl. So, uh, when Taru even put it as psycho psychological warfare. Which I can see and understand. And um, so did uh, Christina. Until the moment when he uh, informed her. And I mean, you could see that Rintaro uh, had a lot of fun informing her that this is a dude. Because, you know, everyone falls for this trap. Trap, yes, you know what I mean. Um, wait a second. Yeah, trap. Um... I had to think about some of you posted down the, the idea of trap, which I didn't knew the name for it. Um, I'm not even sure if that is a nice one, you know, it, it sounds a little bit negative, but well, whatever. Um, and she checked. I so loved her reaction, the fact that she was completely done after that. That was really nice. Um, that's one. Then uh, Ruka, uh, Ruka wanted to uh, send a message because she wants to be a girl, we discussed this already. Um, and uh, wants to send this message to her mother while she's pregnant. So, well, there are multiple things. Um, while she's pregnant, I think it is already too late. I'm not good in, uh, I'm not, not good as wrong, I'm not perfect in this. Um, I don't know exactly at which time the gender of the baby is defined in your body. Um, but I'm pretty sure it is very soon. Um, so, in pregnancy, like eating specific food is possibly already too late. Uh, I think you have to do it a lot sooner. Possibly in the first days. Um, and no, I have no ability to check it now because I'm recording. So I can check in the internet. But I'm pretty sure some of you know uh, at which time the uh, gender of a baby is um, formed. Is... Uh, stated but i think no it's not even the first days it's possibly just in the moment when um the both cells um fuse with each, with each other because it is a, a simple thing of genome um if you are xy or xx so uh it should be like in the moment when the egg and the uh, uh the sperm hit each other as far as i know so later it, i think it didn't doesn't help just an idea. So she would have to send it like, hey, before you sleep with my dad, eat a lot of vegetables, I guess. So it's very unlikely that this will help. And uh, I stated the things about fish, um, making it a little bit more uh, girls. Um, that's not about fish and pregnancy. As far as I know, people in coastal regions tend to have more girls in, but that's, you know, urban legend. You know, nothing scientific, I just read it somewhere. Um, however, 
they uh, send it. I was a little bit confused about the 100 second timer because in some episodes ago they talked about that the uh, amount of the timer on the microwave um, specifies how far into the past you will travel. And um, they are always working with the 120 timers, so they are not really working on it. Um, but this email should be sent to the far past, decades into the past, to a messenger. So, is this, was there a mistake or did I miss something? That's one. The other one, I really liked the idea because I didn't think about it. Um, cell phones were not around always. Before that were pagers, but even then, they even those were not so common. And uh, before that, you possibly cannot send those emails. So you could go for, um, let's say, emails a little bit more. I, I think those should work as well. Um, but this gives you just some years and then just to some very specific people because not many people had emails at this time. Uh, the further you go into the past, it is gone. And then what? What options do you have? That would mean um, at least for the Dmail, you have a very short frame of time defined in, sp in, in time and space, you know, where you can send it. If you see all the history of Earth alone and not talking about universe, um, that's not much. You can't change very much there. On the other hand, you don't have to because you are just going just going against CERN. However, nice one. Um, yeah, that's it for this episode. I really liked it. I really read it. I'm a little bit sad that Moika is, uh, is out of the picture now again, um, but I'm somehow sure she will be back in soon. Um, and then possibly we will hear if or not those pictures are still on the phone. Um, that's it for this time. My name is Relax and Panic. I hope you enjoyed. As always, please like, comment and subscribe. Goodbye and out.